Good morning friends, happy Vlogmas day 15 and the first day of Vlogmas week 3. It is 11.15ish, I work at 11.30 and I literally just pulled into my parking spot. So I'm running a bit late today for like my standards because I like to be here early. Um, there was just, there was just traffic on just about every route this morning. There was so much traffic everywhere. So, you know, we made it though. As you can see, I was feeling a little bit lazy today. I wore my glasses. I pretty much never wear my glasses anymore unless I'm like feeling lazy or I'm just at home. So, there's that. I am here for it though. I just really didn't feel like putting my contacts in this morning. Uh, my blazer and my pants are from Ross. My top is from Old Navy and my shoes are from Payless before it closed. And then my little joy earrings are from Target. I will show you a whole outfit thing when I get inside. But yeah, I thought I would just randle, randle, ramble those off real quick. And I'll also put them down below in case you're curious. But yeah, I'm glad I made it. I'm gonna go inside and use the restroom and all that jazz before I have to clock in. So. It is 3.30, I just got off work at the university, now I get to drive across the parking lot to go to a canteen shift for a couple hours. I'm tired. I forgot that I was the closer, so I wore those heels today, but I had to pick up the shoe signs, so... Joke's on me, I made a mistake. My feet hurt really bad now. But it's okay! Good morning everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. I'm the second edition of car vlogging this week because I just got to work and it's 7.30 in the morning and I'm very tired. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. Cool. Hello everybody. I thought I would just do a quick midday check-in with you all. I am on break. Um, yeah, this morning has been decent. I am slowly getting the script down, which is really good. And I have my check-in this afternoon in about two hours. I have a check-in with my leader over here to determine kind of if I'm gonna have another day of training, if I'm gonna move on to a co-facilitation, all that fun stuff. Um, kind of like what the next step is. And on the plus side, I have determined my problem section, which I think is very important, is knowing where my weak spot is and what I need to work on a little bit more as far as like the rest of the script. So that's where we're at, which I think is a pretty decent spot to be in. Like I definitely don't want to be like, oh yeah, I've got this whole script down because I don't. So. Other than that, I think I'm going to go downstairs to Company D, which is like the little like store here, and see if there's anything cool that like I could use as like a Christmas present, because some of it, a lot of the stuff sold here is not sold in like other Disney stores, because mostly cast members shop at Company D. So I might go down and see if there's anything cool that I could like double as a Christmas present. So I think we're going to do that. So yeah. I might finish my chips first. Or I might save them. I don't know yet. So, we'll see you guys after work. Hello friends. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I actually have no idea what day of the month it is right now. I just got home. It is 11.30 at night. Um, I went hardcore Christmas shopping tonight to finish off a friend's present that I have to ship out literally tomorrow to make sure she gets it before Christmas. I did all of that today. 
while I was out, I went and found Christmas presents for Melissa, as well as the kids and my mom and my dad. I'm pretty sure that I still have a couple things left to buy because I feel like I've just bought everything for like one or two kids and I'm forgetting or just not finishing with the rest of them. So I actually have no idea where I'm at right now. However, Melissa's present is done. I just gotta package it up. My friend Becca's present that I have to ship out is done. I just have to package it and get it ready to ship. Another very good friend of mine's present barely even started doing a great job and then the kids I literally have no idea where I'm at with that so because some of my friends that have presents in this spot do watch my videos I'm not going to show you guys really anything that's here because I don't want them to see it um, I did want to show you however one of my pretty good friends who I met through work who now lives across the country, is here for the weekend, and she came to visit me at work tonight, and I knew she was coming to visit me, however, I didn't know she was going to surprise me with a Christmas present. She got me this ring, and had two little hearts in it, on it, and on the inside it says, you are enough, and she just got it as like little words of affirmation for when I'm having a rough time, or having a rough day, and it's just the sweetest thing ever. It fits pretty well on like my middle finger. Um, however, if like my fingers are like really slim or whatever, it also fits on my thumb, so perfect. But I'm gonna go get these things packaged and ready to go because I'm starting to stress. <laughs> and I also need to sleep, so yeah, that's a thing. Also, my dinner tonight is a box of goldfish because I haven't eaten anything. So yeah, we're doing a great job. Um, I'll let you know where we're at. Alrighty, so it's actually not too late, like too much later. I was able to configure everything that I got for my friend Becca into her box that the original package came in. So I'm like able to repurpose that box. Um, I got Melissa's present packaged up. I got the other one started packaging up. And I wanted to show you guys while I was at Target tonight, I found these super cute sloth socks. And you guys know how much I love sloths. Let me see if I can get it to open. It says, drop it like a sloth. And it's cute little sloth is on it. I love them. I love Target socks because they're like two bucks and they got cute little designs on them, so I'll take them. But I got all those Christmas packages, all those Christmas presents packaged up. Um, tomorrow I have to print the shipping label and take this box to the post office and get it shipped out for sure. But as of tonight, I am down, I'm done. I got what I needed done. And I'm gonna catch up on some vlogs. And yeah, that's my night. I close tomorrow, so that's why I have so much time in the morning to get this Christmas package done. And yeah. I'm sure there will be another segment later this week of Christmas shopping with Brie as I get my final last minute items and figure out where I'm at. I'm sure we'll have a wrapping party too, so stay tuned for that. Good morning friends, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I just got to the post office to drop off my friend's package to send out and I'm very excited. I was able to get everything in the box that I wanted, which is nice. And shipping wasn't too expensive, which <laughs> we love that. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just check in, say good morning before I go drop this off. And then as you can see, I'm off to work. So yeah, we will uh, see you guys at work. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Um, it's actually like 11 o'clock at night or something. Um, I didn't vlog at all today because I worked. But now it's time to start wrapping some Christmas presents and getting ready because Christmas is in like six days. So Skipper is over here chewing on a toy. And by toy we mean old sock because that's like his toy of preference. Um, and before anybody goes nuts, 
we take it away from him when it starts to get really really like ripped and threaded to where he could choke and get hurt we're very safe about it he doesn't get it all day every day kind of a thing it's just whenever i need him occupied for a few extra minutes it's what he likes so just before anybody starts coming at me in the comments about it i'll just preface with that however wrapping paper is here that's some laundry i need to fold or hang up uh wrapping paper is ready i've got a handful of presents down here to wrap i'm not gonna go nuts and do like all of them tonight we're gonna get a handful done just to kind of relax and unwind from the day and i'll probably finish some tomorrow and like this weekend so let's get going It's like 1.30 in the morning now. I got a whole bunch of wrapping done, way more than I anticipated actually doing. I thought I was gonna wrap like a couple, just to like relax and whatever, but I just kept going and I got a lot done. So now I have um, one bag in my room that um, I either have to get like boxes or bags or like I have to get something to finish wrapping them um, just because of either their shape or their size or whatever um, and then there's a couple stocking stuffers in there and then there's another bag with the kids stuffed animal because every year we get them a stuffed animal and I did all that this year so I have those and then um, there's a couple presents that I've like left in my mom's room because like we went and picked him up and just like took everything in her room because like the kids were home or something. So there's a handful of other presents that I have to wrap that are like from me. However, I'm not gonna worry about those tonight. I'm gonna go to bed. Well, actually I'm gonna finish watching this episode on Mr. Kate's channel. I'm gonna finish watching this and then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, Skipper was such a good boy the entire night. He just laid here on the bed, just relaxing, and he was inspecting the Christmas presents, which was super cute. Um, and I just put him in his crate so he can go to sleep, and I can go to sleep. So, yeah, we will see you guys in the morning. Um, tomorrow is more than likely bath day for him, so I have to give him a bath and put stuff on the pads of his paws to soften them up a little bit because they're getting a little bit uh, rough so we gotta work on that and then I have a little DIY project that I've literally spoken about in so many of these clips yet I've yet to do so probably tomorrow maybe so we'll see you guys in the morning or in a couple hours I guess hello friends welcome to vlogmas day 20 I think. Um, I'm currently sitting in the living room because nobody's home right now. They all went to a family Christmas event and I decided to stay home and wrap more Christmas presents. So we have a good bunch out here already. Um, I still have quite a few of the ones I wrapped last night sitting in my room just because I don't want kids like peeking at those ones at all. So I have a handful more that I'm going to wrap tonight. And we're just trying to get this done sooner because we have a tendency to wait until literally Christmas Eve to wrap all the presents and then we get all stressed out because there's just so much to do. So we are going through them, what we've purchased, um, and like making sure we have gotten what we wanted them to get this year and just wrapping. That's all we're doing. Um, you'll see Skipper is joining me once again to wrap presents. I'm watching Law & Order and we're just going to do this. So, let's go.
Hello friends, welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Um, it's actually like 2.30 in the afternoon and it is cleaning time. So we are working on cleaning up the house and getting it really ready for Christmas morning because Christmas morning is always like a very messy, hectic time because we've got so many kids opening presents and whatever and we try to make it like a seamless thing <laughs> and make it not super messy, however, doesn't always end up happening so we're trying to at least get the surrounding areas ready and I think tonight we're gonna make some Christmas cookies because we have to get ready for Santa to come we have his plate and mug ready to go which I will show you guys um, in the next vlog when we do like our Christmas Eve stuff um, but one of our tasks today is to bathe the dogs all the dogs need a bath um, my mom's puppy is a Maltese and her fur is very white but right now it is very brown because she has been rolling in the dirt with Skipper. They've been rolling around in the dirt together doing the most so we are going to get her cleaned up right now. So let's go do that. Okay so now that he has had a bath um, which he did really good. He usually does. He's usually not too big of a problem in the bathtub like the little dogs are. But I've been talking about this DIY thing in probably every vlog so far. But my mom found this paw print ornament like kit so you can make a paw print ornament. So we're going to do that because it takes like two to three days to set because there's no baking for this one. So we're gonna do that tonight. Um, hopefully he'll let me, to be completely honest, because he might throw a fit about me getting his paw wet to like press it in. So there's that. But this is the plan, is to do this. So it comes with the air drying impression material, a little rolling plastic rolling pin, a little hole thing to create a circle, and then the string to make the ornament. You can see Toby is and then it comes with a little cutter to make, like, the thing. Follow the instructions. Toby. And Toby. It did not come with Toby. Toby is not included. But the first thing it says to do is lay aluminum foil down on a flat surface like a book. So I just found one of the kids' really big books. We're going to do that. And then we need the impression material for... For... Da, 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 two to three minutes. So we're gonna go do that and we'll be back. So it took two tries and we had to re-knead it and start over, but we got a good impression of his paw. And I might, once it's dry, paint that so you can kind of see his paw a little more. You can see there's like some spots where he fought me. And like there's his little nails on a couple paws. But we got it and now we're just gonna continue on and see what we have to do next. Okay, so now that we, this is the excess. Hello. Hello. So now that we have it done, we have used the little plastic hole punch that it provides to make a small hole that the string will go through. We need to leave it in the circle shaping cookie cutter thing for eight to 10 hours for it to dry. And then we have to flip it over for the bottom to dry. And it said it could take up to two to three days for it to completely dry. So the completed product will be in next week's vlog. Um, yeah. right in front of Christmas so yeah this is pretty cool um, I think we are going to paint 
his little paw print impression uh, once it's dry just to give it something and so you can actually see the paw print in comparison to the rest of the dough. But yeah, I think it turned out cute. I'm, I'm here for it, I like it. So in the event that you all weren't sick of seeing us take family photos and matching things. Hello, I'm Elsa now. She's wearing Elsa. We're all wearing Olaf. And the best part, Mr. Skipper Skipper. has an Skipper. Olaf. Skipper. Skippy-doo. An Olaf costume. Skipper. Mama has it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an Olaf costume. <laughs> we do have an Anna in our midst as well, so. And also a couple of So post-Christmas photo turned into holiday bake session. So we've got... These are still midway. We're working on the reindeer noses. These are reindeer kisses. We made Christmas cutout sugar cookies, which will probably be decorated tomorrow. Yes. We're gonna let them chill and do their thing. And then my personal favorite, peanut butter blossoms, with some nice kisses on the top. And like I said, the reindeer kisses are in progress. If you guys.